Hello from Relation Productions. Uh, today we're going to give a quick demonstration of the GraphTech RoboPro Vinyl Plotter. It's a relatively simple machine to use. All you do, first load the vinyl in like so. And it slid all the way back. And we use this front edge as a guide for alignment. And once it's in place, we put down the holds on it. Next we'll turn the machine on. And it's warming up. And on the screen here, although I'm sure you can't read it, it says roll one, press enter. So we'll hit enter and it'll find the position of where exactly our vinyl sheet sits in the machine. As you can see, we have a corner here that's already been used for something else. So when we start up, we'll have to make sure to change our origin point to just a little bit before that. Now we've got, I've got my laptop all set up here, and we've got a very simple, just some lettering for a milling machine of mine. Now, we'll take the head and we'll bump it just right into position there and we'll change that as our new origin point so it does not start cutting here but it'll start cutting here instead past that already used piece. Now I've got the computer already set up and it's ready to cut. So we'll go through the process real quickly here. And of course it lost its position again. We'll place that right where it should be once more. Confirm our origin point. And we'll hit cut and we should be set to go. Now this is a pretty simple design. There's quite a few different points on the vector coordinate that makes up for the simple TAG logo, which is why it's taking a little bit longer to cut than normal. Normally it would fly through this like nothing, but this is, happens to have a few more vector points on the coordinates than it normally would have. Not a big deal, but it just takes a bit longer. And that's all there is to it. It's done. We'll release our sheet here and we'll pull it out and I'll show you just a second what it looks like because I know you can't see what it looks like just from the cut right there. And here I'll show you right now what we've got. Take an X-Acto knife, trim around all our unwanted material, and peel it away very carefully so we leave down what we still want all nice and aligned. There we are. I'll weed out the remaining centers in the A. And the G. Now the next step is applying the decal. First we'll take a piece of transfer tape. This is basically just a medium tack um, tape.
tape, similar to masking tape, many ways. Oftentimes I will use masking tape or scotch tape as a substitute. Anyways, all we do now is we put a piece of transfer tape over the decal and make sure it is stuck on there good. And we'll slowly, very slowly and carefully peel it off. As we're peeling, make sure that we're taking all the letters with us because sometimes they'll stay on the paper. Now we got our decal, which is all ready to apply to whatever we like. This tag lettering, in this case, is going to be stuck to the side of my tag uh, micro milling machine, which is currently in the process of a DC motor conversion. Anyways, we have the side here. You can see where we're going to stick it. And before we apply our decals, uh, I have a little bit of what I like to use, just some denatured alcohol. And we'll clean the surface off that's going to go to, to make sure it sticks real well. Now all we need to do, we take our decal and we have to line it up. about right. So we're sure it's aligned up right. We'll burnish it down. That's just rubbing it on to make sure it gets a good strong contact with the surface it's going to. Depending on what you're using, you can use your fingernail like I'm using here or a credit card or some other piece of plastic that'll help contour the decal to the surface going to. And we'll real carefully take our transfer tape up. And there we have our completed graphic all set to go.